Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a love and romance reading. Let's see what messages come in. This is good for those in relationships, those who are single and everything in between, okay? So take the messages as they apply for you. Not all of them are going to make sense for you. You know how this goes. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being here, thank you for joining, and thank you for liking and subscribing. For those of you who are single, you feel a deep attraction for someone. This could be someone you've always kind of seen around, and it's like they just... You like them. They could be friend. They could be kind of like, you could have a friend that knows them. And they're telling you here, like, let your friends help you. Who knows? This person could be very well interested in you. Now, for those of you who are in relationships and you feel like you are with your soulmate, you don't need to keep all of your wonders to yourself. Like, of course, you're not gonna go around sharing all of your business with everybody, but they're telling you here you're not alone and your friends can help you. So if you feel, you know, like you need some support about your relationship, know that you have it. You don't need to have or to go through everything on your own. Some of you who have been separated from a partner physically by distance because of work or because of whatever um, you're going to be um, having the opportunity to connect physically uh, in presence again very soon for those of you who are craving something more in your romantic life you can trust that it is coming for you as long as you give yourself the chance to pursue it. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to go around stalking who you have a crush on, okay? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you're open to being asked out. You're open to higher levels of commitment. You're open to new adventures. You're open to admit to yourself who you're attracted to. You're open to letting your friends help you if they offer, right? Or even putting it on the table yourself. You're open. Always loving yourself first. That is the key here. Never giving that power away. Always remaining in your power. But open to the possibilities. Now, some of you could have children. You could have um, a lot of pets as well. And it is... It is affecting your love life for better or worse, okay? So whether you're in a relationship or you're single, the fact that you have children plays a role. Maybe for you, maybe for that other person. The fact that you have pets play a role for you or that other person, or both. There are considerations to have here. And I feel like some of you who are single, it's like you're refraining yourself from putting yourself out there because you have children. But that doesn't have to be... Um, Kind of like a downfall. I hear someone saying nobody wants to date someone with children. A lot of people do though. <laughs> a lot of people do. For real. So, you know, give yourself the chance to overcome any limiting beliefs and give yourself a chance at happiness if that is something that you want. Some of you are refraining from opening yourself up to love to dating, to higher levels of commitment, because you feel like someone around you either is very controlling or someone around you in the past has been very controlling and that is kind of like, ugh, like you don't want to open yourself up to that. But when you open yourself up to love and romance, that's what you're opening up to, love and romance, right? And even though not, you know, every person is a bundle of things. <laughs> Issues, baggage, dreams, you know, talents. Everyone is like a, a bunch of things. You don't necessarily have to 
choose someone who's very controlling, you know what I mean? Like that is, the past doesn't need to repeat itself, is what I'm trying to say. Some of you have, because of past decisions, past relationships you've had, people you've given chances to, toxic situations that have unfolded, some of you have a deteriorated sense of trust in yourself. You may be like, well, you know, I chose that person and that was a shit show, so maybe I shouldn't trust who I like or something. Because we have here pay attention to the red flags. And we have it as a hope and as a fear. So some of you are afraid that you're not going to catch those red flags if you open yourself up to love. Some of you who are in relationships, you may feel like you're not being uh, open to seeing the red flags in front of you. You may be afraid to see, but you may be very afraid to not see as well, right? But I see here, I see, uh, <laughs> that wedding is in the near future or mostly as an outcome. If you allow yourself to trust in the near future, then you get here um, the possibility of a wedding. Now, some of you, if you're already married, you may be renewing your vows. You may be having, uh, getting an invitation for a wedding, celebrating someone's wedding. Possibly a younger sister is what I heard. Um, some of you here, you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn. That's what I just heard. You learned the lessons you needed to learn. You know how to love yourself first. You know how to prioritize. And trust yourself that as soon as you see a red flag, you're going to do your best to, even if you don't know what's going on, recognize it. See it for what it is and just leave it there until you understand it to a deeper degree. Trust yourself that you want what's best for you. I'm getting a reference here to Billie Eilish, which is super random, but some of you may have like a song that you share or a song that someone dedicated to you or you dedicate to someone that is um, from Billie Eilish. She's one of my favorite artists ever. And tell me that doesn't look like her. This one. The resemblance is incredible. Magic works through you, Pisces. If by any chance you have recently seen a beetle or a grasshopper, if by any chance you feel very connected to Egypt or you have something about Egypt in your life right now, the love of your life love of your lives, the ultimate ultimate, is here, and it's here to stay. So let that be a confirmation, of course, within reason, okay? This is a reading that is open to all the Pisces that choose to click. That's a lot of Pisces, thank God. <laughs> and what that is saying is that not, that message is not going to be for all of you. If you know that you're in a super toxic, fucked up situation and you don't want this person to be the love of your lives, don't let that happen. You know what I mean? Like, take the, the necessary steps. But for those of you who maybe you've seen beetles, you've seen grasshoppers, you've seen a lot of references to Egypt, this is just a confirmation of what you already know. That love is here and it's here to stay. And if it's not here right this second, I don't know, man. It could like literally be arriving today, later in the day. You may receive a call. You may receive a message this week. There's something golden here. Something golden. You could be dealing with someone who you consider golden, a heart of gold, or someone who's physically golden, like bronze skin, you know, kind of like blondish golden hair or... Kind of like hazel eyes, any of those traits, even like a redhead, maybe. There's a lot of very beautiful things here. Take a leap of faith, magic works through you. Trust yourself that if you see a red flag, you're gonna 
feel a little funky and even if you don't understand it, you're going to notice like, okay, I'm feeling a little weird about this. And you're going to, out of self-love, ask yourself why, what does it mean? What am I not seeing, right? You know how to take care of yourself, Pisces, better than anyone else. And with the help of God and this magic that works through you, you are golden. <laughs> All right, Pisces, this is what I got for you in this reading. I love you to the moon and back. If you feel like you need a little help or assistance with limiting beliefs in this area, there is a product on my website. I'm going to link it in the description box below. It's for subconscious reprogramming audio so we can manifest love as you sleep. And there's a bundle that has all sorts of uh, specific audios from like manifesting your divine pregnancy. If you're having issues with that, of course, doesn't replace medical treatment, though. Um, to like forgetting an ex or like healing financial issues within a successful relationship. You name it, it's there. So you can check it out if it resonates with you. It's super affordable and you can download it today. I'm going to leave it in the description box and I'll see you in the next reading. I love you, Pisces. By the way, if you are wanting to book so this is an announcement you can take you can literally click off if if you're not interested but those of you who are interested and you tend to book your yearly forecast for the next year um every year because i know that there's plenty of you that do it every single year um if you do it now you get a how much is it 75 percent off no 75 bucks discounted from the regular price if you do it now and that way I'm going to set myself up for success and not become overwhelmed at the end of the year with all the bookings. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing it early this year. All right. So yeah, the info for that is also going to be below. Now I'm done. <laughs> Bye Pisces. I love you.